Hello you guys, welcome back to Catching Waves Yoga with uh, me, Leslie. I'm sure Lenny will come around soon. Who knows, he kind of comes and goes as he likes. Um, but I know you guys look forward to seeing him, so I'm sure he will uh, come in and surprise you at some point. Anyways, um, today's session we are going to do a gentle yoga session. So you may want to get yourself a couple pillows. You can see I've got some there. Have some water set aside so you have that ready for you. Um, and get ready to move. I said gentle. I did not say easy. Gentle, right? It might be new to your body, so uh, yeah, it's going to be a little challenging, at least in that regard. But um, give yourself a second to get your mat set up, get a couple pillows. I'm glad I've got a few of you joining me this morning. It's always so exciting. I have way too much energy this morning. I've been up since 6.30, technically before. That's just when I actually got out of bed. Uh, yeah, so this will be a nice cool down for myself and my own brain. So come on down to the floor, get yourself in a comfortable seat, take a drink of your water. I promise it's water way too early for anything else. You can uh, take your pillow if you'd like. I'm going to actually fold mine in half and put it right underneath of my hips. This is going to lift my hips above my knees. I'm going to bring that left foot, top of the foot in and down to the earth, and then that right foot in and down as well. So I'm sitting up nice and tall. Again, my hips are above my knees here, allowing that blood flow to really come down. So sit up nice and tall, loop those shoulders up, back and down. Just bring your hands into a comfortable position on your legs here and be nice and tall in your spine. Go ahead and close your eyes. Take a big inhale in through the nose and out. Inhaling in and out. We'll use the beginning of this practice to just help bring ourselves into a calm space so we can prepare to move, lower our energy levels or our anxious levels or whatever it may be. We just focus on that breath and just be still. Inhaling in through the nose and out. Again, making sure you're sitting up nice and tall in your spine. You don't want to hunch forward at all. Inhaling in and out. Just really paying attention to your breath, noticing how it feels as it enters your body. Coolness on the nostrils, warmth as it leaves with the exhale. You can feel the air going to the back of your throat, down into your lungs, expanding your lungs, expanding your rib cage and ultimately allowing yourself to feel that relaxation as that oxygen moves through your body. And if you're like, that sounds fantastic, but my brain's not there. <laughs> because your brain, it's still early in the morning and you're probably creating a to-do list and all of the stuff that's just rattling on, right? So for the next several moments, I want you to count your breath. One on the inhale, Two on the exhale, three, four, and keep that going until you get to 10, and then you start again. start to count our breath, we're taking our mind away from the mental chatter and we're just holding our attention in one localized spot, our breath, which is going to help calm you, it's going to help lower your wavelengths, it's going to do so many beneficial things. So really utilize that breath to the best of your ability. With that next inhale, bring your left hand to your heart, right hand to your belly. And just again, focus on the breath. Notice what parts of your body are moving. If 
you notice it's just your chest that's lifting and your belly didn't do a thing, with your next inhale, I want you to picture both your chest lifting, your belly lifting, you getting a little taller in your spine, inhaling in, big breath. Exhale, let it all go, press through your abs here, really push that air out. Inhaling in, expand through the body. Exhale, pull those abs in, press the air out. Inhale. Exhale. Take your hands left and right onto your rib cage, and as we inhale this time, I want you to imagine your ribs going to the left side of the room and the right side of the room and expanding from your side versus from the front. Inhale. Exhale. Really use your abs, press that air out. Inhale. Exhale. One more. In and out. Great job. You're going to release your hands down, press your animals away. See you found the strings on my shirt. <laughs> Take a big inhale in and out. Great. You can open your eyes or keep them closed and just listen to my breath. I'm going to move the pillow out from under my hips. You might want to do the same. I'm just coming into a more natural cross-legged position, tucking you know one heel under the other, your toes under your, your calf, and again, sitting up nice and tall. And again, if this is new to you, you might feel some burning sensation in your back, and that's just simply because we're engaging muscles that you really haven't in a long time, right? Our stabilization muscles. That's a hard word for me to say. <laughs> so we wanna make sure we're sitting up nice and tall. Use that breath, focus on your breath to take your mind away from that sensation that's not necessarily pleasant. So big inhale in and out. Bring your hands down to your hips, inhale, sweep your arms all the way up, look or just tip your head towards the ceiling, lengthen here. And exhale, flow your hands down, tuck your chin into your chest as you move. Inhale, lengthening. Exhale, lower those hands. Inhale. Exhale. One more, in and out. Great. Inhale, lift your shoulders up to your ears. Exhale, loop them towards the back wall, drop them down your spine pulling your shoulder blades in towards the center. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, releasing. In, out. One more, in and out. Great, inhale, arms all the way up. Exhale, twist to the left. Bring that left hand behind you, right hand onto your left knee. Go ahead and look over your left shoulder here. Open your lips, releasing your teeth parting just slightly so we can relax through the jaw, through the neck, into that shoulder even. Focus on your breath. Big inhale in and out. Again, picture your entire upper body filling up with oxygen. Exhale, let it go. Pulling that belly button into your spine. One more big breath here. Great, inhale, sweep those arms up and overhead. Exhale, twist to the right this time. Right hand behind you, left hand onto the right knee. Look over your right shoulder and part your lips. Releasing that tension, helping our upper body just let go of that stress. Whether it's stress from life or stress from beating up your body from doing all these home workouts because you're not used to it, whatever it may be. It gets stuck and you gotta find ways to help release it. Big inhale in and out. Inhale, rise those arms all the way up. Exhale, bring them down to your side. I want you to bring your elbows into your side, your palms out in front, palms open to the ceiling. Open your hands, really flex through your fingers here. As we inhale, we're gonna pull our thumbs towards that back wall, trying to keep our elbows right into our side. Exhale, bring it forward. 
Inhale, pull it back. Exhale, forward. Keep that going with your breath. And as we come to the back, I want you to really feel your shoulder blades rolling in towards your spine. Exhale. Again, keep those elbows pressed right into your sides here. Keep it going. Inhale. Exhale. One more. In and out. Great. Bring those arms out in front, palms together, point at me. I'm going to save you some energy. Apparently that's what energy sounds like. Anyways, accept it, love it, bring a smile onto your face. Take a big inhale in. And as we exhale, draw your right hand across your chest. Open it up to that back wall. Again, look over your right shoulder here. Lengthen through your arms, lengthen through that upper body. Use that breath. Notice where you're holding in tension. Maybe you feel it in your legs now. Give them a little shake and just let them relax. Inhaling in and out. Inhale, right hand forward. Exhale, pull that left arm to the back this time, holding it there, focusing on your breath, releasing through that jaw. Big inhale. Exhale, bring it forward. Great job. Go ahead and release your hands onto your knees, tucking your fingertips right underneath here. Really lengthen through your arms. Inhale, we're gonna press our chest forward here. Send your gaze up to the sky, but don't crank your head back here. Inhaling in. Exhale, tuck your chin into your chest. Pull your spine to the back wall, really round through. Turn your tailbone up towards the ceiling here. Inhale, lengthen, come forward. Exhale, round. Inhale. Exhale. Smile as you're moving. Make it a nice fluid motion going from the front to the back. Connecting to your breath. Really just letting it guide your way. Inhale, sitting up nice and tall in the center. We're going to come onto all fours. So bring your knees right underneath of your hips, your wrists right underneath of your shoulders here. Take a big inhale and lengthen through your spine. Look forward and out. I want you to rotate your fingertips to the outside edge of your mat. Point those fingers back towards your knees. You can walk them in just slightly closer, creating maybe a two to three inch gap between your fingertip and your knee here. I want you to keep your fingers spread far apart and keep those palms flat on the floor. Take a big inhale and look forward. Exhale, sink your hips to your heels until you can feel a very good stretch through the back side of your forearm here. This is a really great stretch to help relieve any carpal tunnel type symptoms. Um, we're effectively doing the exact opposite as we would if we were playing on the phone or on the computer with our keys, you know, like this. So we are reversing that stretch because whatever position your body is in for too long, it'll stick that way, right? And that's when we get to have all of these dis-ease, right? I don't want to say disease but dis-ease throughout the body. We have chronic things that are repetitive over and over and over, and we're not necessarily mindful of doing the exact opposite sometimes, right? So we're, we're told to, to stand more often because we're sitting in chairs. We're told to move more often again because we are very much stationary people. That's just the lifestyle that we have now. Focus on your breath. Big inhale in. Make sure you release those shoulders down away from your ears. Nice straight spine here. We'll be here for three more breaths. Big inhale. And exhale. In. And out. One more, just like that. In. And exhale, let it go. Inhale, roll your hands off the mat, sit back onto your heels, twist through your wrists here. They might feel a little tight, that's okay. Again, we're, we're encouraging the opposite of what is normal, so we're gonna have a little resistance in our body. 
So just spin through your wrists, shift them left and right, flex them up and down towards the ceiling, towards the floor. And when you're ready, we're going to come back into that tabletop position. You might feel a little pressure here, very normal. As soon as we start moving and getting that blood flow going again, you're going to not even notice it. Let's take a big inhale in and out. Inhale, drop that belly, send your hips to the sky, look forward again. Don't crank your head back. We don't want to compress those nerves in the cervical spine. Exhale, pull your belly button all the way to the ceiling, tuck your chin into your chest, tuck your tailbone under, really press through your arms here. Inhale, drop that belly. Exhale, round, belly button to the spine, spine to the ceiling. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more. In. And out. Great. Come into that tabletop position. Open your knees as wide as your mat. Bring your big toe to touch and plant that right hand underneath of your nose. Inhale. Glide that left arm across your body, opening it up to the ceiling here. You can either look up Look down or just look out in front of you. Give me a big smile because I know you're starting to feel good, getting all stretched out. We're taking it nice and slow today. Big inhale in. Exhale, tap that hand down to the right. Inhale, lift it back up. Exhale, tap. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale. Inhale. Out and in. One more. Great. This time, plant that left hand down, and as we inhale, open that right arm to the sky this time. Holding it there, tuck that tailbone under. Again, you can always drop that hand to your hip, pull that top shoulder blade to the back wall. Find what's comfortable for your body. Yoga is not about showing up for an audition to nail a pose for a photo. It's not about any of that. It's about finding movement within our body where we've become stuck, right? And the more we move and become unstuck, the more we feel better in our body, the more we feel better in our brain. And it just transcends on. Take a big inhale in. Exhale, tap it down. Inhale, open. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. In. One more. All the way open. Exhale, bring it down. And I just want you to send your hips to your heels, extend your arms out, bring your forehead all the way down as we come into our child's pose. Just really relaxing here. Forehead on the mat. Loop your shoulder blades back and down your spine like you're trying to put them in your back pocket. Close your eyes. Take a big inhale in through the nose. And out. Maybe now is the time that you want to come up with a little phrase that you need to hear, whether it's, I am protected, I am strong, I am going to persevere, right? There's so many things that we need to hear. So why don't we just say it to ourselves instead of expecting others to lift you up? You lift yourself, you fill your cup, you love yourself, and then you can give with abundance. So tell yourself right now what it is that you need to hear. Bring a big smile onto your lips. And I want you to think of one thing that you're grateful for from this morning. Great. 
job. With that next inhale, lift your forehead off the mat, look forward, and just walk your hands to the left edge of your mat. And I want you to think of pulling that right hip towards the right corner of your mat. So really feel that lengthening through the right side body and even press your ribs towards that wall behind you. Take a big inhale in and out. When you inhale, really focus on expanding your ribs, that side breath we practiced at the beginning. Big inhale, exhale. One more, in and out. Great, walk your hands over to the right side of your mat this time, taking that left hip towards the left corner of your mat. Inhaling in, sinking yourself back down, really extending your hips towards that left wall. Big inhale, exhale. You should feel the stretch going from your arm all the way down to your hip. One more big breath here, in and out. Great, walk your hands underneath of your shoulders. Bring your knees back under your hips. Fix all of your clothes, because they move. I don't get it, you guys. We need like Velcro on our body or something. Curl your toes under and slow and control. Lift your knees, send your hips to the sky. Pull your chest towards your thighs, coming into downward dog. Move those shoulders back and down your spine here. Press into all 10 fingers. It's okay if you have a bend in your knees. You can, with time, get to where you can lengthen them. It's okay if your heels are lifted. Again, with time, your body is going to release and allow you to move through these stretches. Take a big inhale in and out. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward, and we're gonna either step or walk all the way to the front of your mat. You're gonna feel awkward and that's okay. And when you get there, release your upper body over your lower body. Get a nice big bend in your legs here. Tuck your chin into your chest and just breathe. Inhaling in and out. Big inhale. Exhale. Inhale, glide your hands all the way up to your thighs, straighten through your legs, straighten through your back. You're looking past your nose like you're making yourself into a figure seven. Inhaling in, exhale, forward fold. Bringing your hands to the back sides of your ankles, pulling your elbows towards both sides of the walls. Tuck your chin into your chest. Inhale, glide your hands to your shins this time. Straighten through your legs, straightening through that upper back into our halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Find a placement for your hands that's comfortable, whether they're out in front, connect elbows, right? Find a little sway side to side. Or again, grabbing the back sides of your ankles and then really pulling yourself down. No straining though, we do not want you to pull anything in your low back. This should feel good and comfortable. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, slow and controlled. We're gonna roll all the way up to standing. Lengthening through your legs, tuck your tailbone under, roll through the low back, mid back, upper back. Loop those shoulders up, back and down. Lengthen through your neck, through your head. Pull your chin back in space. Open your hands to the wall in front of you. Smile. Take a big inhale in. And exhale, let it go. Inhale, lift all ten toes. And exhale. Inhale, bend your knees, drop your hands down. We're going to draw a big circle as we come all the way back up to standing. Give yourself a little back bend here. Exhale, forward fold, bringing your hands all the way down, releasing your upper body over your lower body. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, big circle all the way up. Exhale, palms to your heart. Take a breath here. 
Release your hands back behind. Interlace your fingers here. You can bring your palms together or create this kind of little box form. Find what's comfortable for you. And if at any point this does not feel good, release. Take a big inhale in, standing nice and tall. Press your knuckles towards the floor. Pull those shoulder blades back and together. Lift your chest. Look to the ceiling. Don't crank your head back. Inhaling in. Exhale. Slow and controlled. Start to come into our halfway lift. Again, pulling those shoulder blades away from your ears. Exhale. Fold. Your version here, whether you have a nice big bend, you try to straighten through your legs. And again, if it feels uncomfortable, release the bind. Big inhale in. And out. One more breath here. Exhale, slow and controlled. Release your hands down. Great job. Go ahead and plant your hands. We're going to step our right foot back. Inhaling in, shifting that knee forward. Release that right knee down to the mat. You can keep your toes curled here or just bring the top of the foot down. Inhaling in. Exhale, plant that right palm. Open up that left hand to the ceiling. Shift your weight forward, taking the pressure out of that back knee. Focus on your breath here. Big inhale. Exhale, bring that left hand down inside of that left foot. You can walk that left foot forward, creating a nice straight line, keeping your knee right over your ankle. Plant those palms, lengthen through your body here. Focus on your breath. You can stay right here if this is enough of a stretch for you, or you can slowly start to walk your hands forward, releasing your upper body a little closer to the ground. Now don't go all the way down on your forearms yet. Give your body time and space to allow itself to expand. Inhaling in. And if you're comfortable, again, you can slowly start to bring your forearms all the way down. Focusing on your breath. Notice if you started holding in tension. Release through those shoulders. Pull your shoulder blades down away from your ears. Just keep that gaze forward. Big inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Walk your hands closer to your body. Lengthen up. And exhale. Inhale. Send that left leg back. Curl your toes under. We're going to send it all the way up in the downward dog. Inhaling in. And out. Go ahead and release your knees down. Open them as wide as your mat. Send your hips to your heels. And just bring that forehead all the way down. You can keep your arms out extended. Or you can lift at your elbows, interlace your fingers, and bring them back behind your head here. Inhaling in. And out. Focus on that breath. Big inhale. And out. Release your hands down to the mat. Close your eyes. Bring a big smile onto your lips. And I want you to think of one thing, a second thing, that you're grateful for, but this time be a little more specific. And with that next inhale, find your flow all the way back up to our downward facing dog. Inhaling in and out. Bend your knees, look forward, step or walk all the way to the front of your mat.
coming into our forward fold, releasing your upper body over your lower body. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, big circle, all the way up. Exhale, palms together right at your heart. Take a big inhale in and out. Inhale, arms up and overhead. Exhale, fold. Plant your palms. We're gonna step that left foot back, shift our body weight forward, and then release that left knee down. You can uncurl those toes. Bring that left palm down onto the floor. Inhale, open that right arm to the sky. Focus on your breath here. Big inhale in. Shift your weight forward. Take the pressure out of the knee. Press into the top of your foot. Inhaling in and out. Pull that top shoulder to the back wall. One more breath here. In. Exhale. Release that right hand inside of that right foot. Inch your right foot a little farther forward making sure you have that nice straight line from knee to your ankle. We're going to hold it here, lengthening through. And then exhale, inch your hands a little further forward. Slow and controlled, allowing your body to have that space to really open up. This is a really deep hip opener here. So, so amazing for the body, but we don't want to rush it. Hand your hands a little farther forward, releasing your forearms a little closer to the ground. Focus on your breath. Move at your own pace, breathing in nice and deep. One more big inhale. And as you exhale, start to walk your hands back closer to your body. Lengthen all the way through. And as we exhale, we're going to send that right leg back behind. Curl your toes under. Send your hips all the way up. Downward dog. You can drop one hip to the side of the mat and then the other. Getting an extra little stretch in your side body here. Inhaling in. And exhale. Lower those knees, open them as wide as your mat, bring your big toes in to touch. Exhale, send your hips to your heels, bring that forehead all the way down. Extend your arms out in front, or you can pull them in closer to your shoulders, really just allowing yourself to sink through here. Close your eyes if you haven't already. Take a big inhale in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale. Exhale. One more just like that. In. Out. Great. Just let that breath come in and out through your nose. Take a big inhale in and out. Focusing on your breath here. Bring a big smile onto your lips. Now I want you to think of a third thing that you're grateful for, but this time think about in our present moment. Think about the sounds around you, the sensations in your body, the words that are coming into your head. Find any of those aspects that are powerful and call attention to them. Just be grateful. Do that now. Take one more big inhale in. And as you 
as you exhale, press through your hands, lifting your body away from the mat, bring your knees into center, send your hips to your heels. Now be careful here, if you have any issues in your knees, you can always put a pillow right in between your calf and your thigh, creating a little extra space. We're gonna sit up nice and tall, pull those shoulder blades back, pull your chin back in space. Or you can take that right hand to your chin, press it towards the back wall. Take a big inhale in and out. Inhaling in and out. Inhale, shift your body weight forward, curl your toes under, and slow and controlled, send your hips back to your heels. Just modify the pressure you're putting into your feet. You might even take, make sure that your pinky toes are coming forward, so they're also engaged in that stretch. Take a big inhale in, again, sitting up nice and tall, roll your tailbone under, pull that chin back in space, and just breathe. You might feel a burning sensation through your feet, just like you did in our wrists at the beginning of practice. Again, we use our hands, use our feet for pretty much everything in our day to help us be successful humans. So we gotta give them an extra little love. Big inhale in and out. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath here. In and out. Go ahead and shift your body weight forward. Send your legs to one side. We're going to bring them in front of us with our uh, bottoms of our feet coming in together close towards your sit bones here. Again, sitting up nice and tall, coming into what we know as our butterfly pose. All right. So take your hands right onto your feet just for a moment and give yourself a little foot massage. Glide your fingers from the bottom of your feet up towards the top, across the arches. You can massage through the top of your feet. Back to the heels, right around your ankles, right? And then when you're ready, interlace your fingers around your toes, press your elbows into your thighs. Inhale, lengthen forward. And exhale, holding it here, feeling a nice deep stretch in our legs. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, move your elbows to the front sides of your shins and release your body a little closer to your feet. And this will look different for everyone depending on how open that low back is, but how low you can actually get. We're all at different stages. Our bodies are 100% different. That's what makes us unique and amazing, right? And so we just have to honor what our body is capable of in this time. Take a big inhale in. And as you exhale, feel yourself shifting forward, sinking a little bit further into that stretch. Tuck your chin into your chest and just breathe. Inhale, slow and controlled, roll all the way up and out. Bring your feet out in front. Don't crush your cat. <laughs> you might want to have your feet together. I'm going to give little Prince here his space. <laughs> open your arms out in front of you, palms open to the ceiling. Inhale, shift your body weight forward, get nice and long in your spine. Exhale, sink it back just slightly. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, back. Just until you can feel your abs engaged. You, want, you don't want to round in your spine here. Inhale, palms together in front of your heart. Open them up to the ceiling. Exhale, lean it back this time. Notice it gets a little bit harder. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back. Inhale, exhale. Hold it at the back. Allow your body to feel that shake. Embrace it. Exhale, bring it forward. Release your hands down to your sides. You're going to shift yourself forward. Don't spook your pets. And then release your upper body all the way down. Pull your knees into your chest here. Give them a little hug. 
Lift that tailbone off the mat. Inhaling in. Exhale. Plant your feet down. Lenny is in like the worst spot today, you guys. <laughs> Plant your feet down. Bring your heels close to your hips. Bring your palms all the way down on the floor next to your hips. Inhale. Press your hips to the sky. Snuggle your shoulder blades under your back. Exhale. Slow and controlled. Release them down. Inhale. Lifting those hips. Press them a little higher. Pull your knees into the center. Maybe it got a little more difficult for you. Exhale, slow and controlled. Release, don't crush your animal's head. <laughs> Inhale, lifting, holding it there. Focus on your breath. See if you can go a little higher. You can bring your hands right to your hips, helping them lift a little higher, pulling those knees into center. And as you exhale, slowly, Release all the way down. Pull your knees into your chest. Give them a hug. Lift that tailbone off the mat. And you're ready. Release one leg and then the other. As we move into our final relaxing pose, Savasana, we're just going to lay here, focusing on our breath, making sure our cat is not attacking us or your dog or your child for that. Take a big inhale in and out. And this is our time to just be still, be present, and just breathe. And if your to-do list is starting to come back into your brain, start to count your breath, just like we did at the beginning. One on the inhale. Two on the exhale, three, four, and keep going until you get to ten, and then start again. One more big inhale in. Exhale, let it go. Go ahead and roll on your side facing me. Use your arm as a pillow here. Close your eyes. We'll take a breath. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Press yourself away from the mat. Come into a nice, comfortable cross legged position. Sitting up nice and tall, hands in your lap, eyes closed. Take a big inhale in through the nose and out. Bring your palms together all the way up to your forehead, inhaling in and out. Be kind in your thoughts to yourself and others. Bring your hands down to your lips, inhaling in and out. Be kind in your words to yourself and others. Just breathe. Bring your hands down to your heart center. Take a big inhale in and out. Be kind in your actions to yourself and others. Take one more big inhale in. Exhale, bow forward. Namaste. 
Thank you guys so much for joining. I love these sessions. It just is the highlight of my day. I promise you that. Um, I would love for you guys to continue supporting me. I have that tank top available. It's only available for 19 more days and it is a limited, of t limited time, um, limited edition. Um, so please help there or give me a little, a little donation if you're feeling inspired. Um, and please, I would love for you guys to subscribe to my YouTube and leave some comments on this session and tell me how you thought it went. So have an amazing day. Be a good human. Go play with your pets or your people or your children, whatever your life looks like. So I will see you guys again soon. Bye.